Chewing on the hard middle bit. <laughs> Sack that. <laughs> I don't do that. Don't know, Papa, Papa John's. Yeah. I don't. They're too expensive. Yeah, I like it. It's sweet. I like it. <laughs> Hi, mum. Hi. Can you contact my agent before you? Pizza and hair grease. I'm gonna be the first UK mumble rapper. the town. So what's new? Just released the turbo mod this weekend. 2700. Ooh, shiny. That's gorgeous. Only 20 available. <laughs> Is that first? For right now. Yeah, I was gonna say first batch, yeah. <laughs> What's it retail? Uh 285 this weekend. Ooh. Pounds? Pounds. <laughs> <laughs>
So this is very simple cry V8 kit, which will be released in the market next week. So customers can buy it online very soon. And also, I strongly recommend this uh, product. This is the TFVAX baby, the baby brother. We can, you can see here, it is top air pro. Yeah. yeah. And it is uh, no leaking. And it is very good for uh, customers in Europe here in the country. I think that is good. And also, um, this will be released maybe next week, ne next month as well. This is Pride One. Okay. Why did you do that? 
got bigger arms though, bro. There's his droopy day, give it back a little <laughs>
Word up, LVC, live vaping chill. That's a little plug right there. <laughs> The second I start filming, you start plugging. Fucking love it. <laughs> Daily Vape TV though. Oh, okay, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Add, thank the, you. Uh, add the Nick sensation going down after all them juices. Well, well tell them what we're doing. <laughs> tell them what we're doing. So now we're walking we're around a stand check. and we're going to have a look to pick out the best stand of the show. And we're mostly vlogging because everyone else. As you can see, uh, yeah, we've got a camera out. <laughs> everyone's got their cameras out. But yeah. To be fair, you know, I'm looking forward to finding out the main results as well on the Sunday is going to be good. Yeah. Of course, yeah. We just tried over 200 juices. And they was unlabeled, so we, we, yeah. we, we're just plainly going on flavor only. And, completely and, you know, blind. Exactly. And it was an adventure. I don't, nice. I don't adventure. ever want to do that again. Nice. I think I need paracetamol. <laughs> he almost got sick. <laughs> Literally, nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I was, dodo vapes. I hate to say, well, but I was nearly gagging. <laughs> See the dodo vapes? Here's a dodo. Look, look, look. Oh. Oh. That's pretty cool. I will admit that's that's pretty cool. That's very inventive. You don't see that kind of thing very often. Yeah, they got a lot of greenery. Now there's no playing favorites, so we still have to walk around. We still have to see everything there is to see. But. I think uh, we've got a front runner right now. I'm Let's get just saying. To the next one, yeah. yeah. Let's Vlog. carry on. Vlog crash. <laughs> Vlog crash. Woo! Well done, guys. Looking good. Looking good. I like the Vaposaurus one. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's uh, pick that one. Vlogging. I'm gonna go live. <laughs> Fuck it. Ten out of ten. <laughs> it's minimalist. Yeah. What you don't understand? It's minimalist. <laughs> All right, carrying on. Oh. Big pack of reviewers. So in 30 minutes, we are going to start our giveaways right here on the stage. So if your favorite vendors are going to be bringing up the liquid, swag, all that good stuff. Uh, if you go to the very front of the room, we've got our reviewers working meticulously. Uh, we've got an award ceremony tonight, and we're going to also re-announce the winners tomorrow at the show. Spitting your drippers are here. Live vape and chill. I believe they're streaming live on Facebook. Sir, vaping a lot. These guys are all back there. If you guys have any questions, hey, how are you? Any questions about vaping, about the industry, about what you can do to be a part of the conversation, you can go back and talk to our viewers here. Oh, my God. Ashley, strawberry cream. Amazing stuff. Yeah, I like this one a lot. This booth is definitely nice. So much happening. Rogue USA is giving away a limited edition mod. Black. That is all going to happen. We have got a black bun. Another one at five o'clock. Do not want to miss this. Hashtag Big Show. All right, DJ, turn it up. That's kind of cool. This way, guys. All right. All right, where are we off to next? SMKD to uh, SMKD. Okay. All right, so here we have the SMKD booth. So, yeah, we have the SMKD booth, packed, absolutely packed, which is a good thing, of course. All the reviews on stands and things for the awards, so uh, Everyone's vlogging, everyone's Talking to their phones and cameras. Vlogging. And vlogging. <laughs> vlogging. <laughs> so yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. Do you know what I like? I do like the simplicity of the black and white theme going on on Attitude. I do like that. <laughs> you heard it. Let's see. BKS. 
Oh, Smoke's guys. booth is pretty good. We're just going to see There's so many cameras There we go. I know, everyone's, everyone's doing their thing. Everyone's vlogging. <laughs> double drip. I mean, yeah. I like the I don't know. It's, really it's a close one right now. It's a very, very close game. So I don't know. I can't even pick the winner right now. We're definitely going to have to discuss this. <laughs> I know. Just do a little, little 360. It's all the cameras. <laughs> All right, let's see, who else we got? We gotta go check out uh, Psycho Bunny, I think. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. gentlemen. <laughs> You gotta corral everybody. That's the tricky thing. Psycho Bunny. Can't miss that giant bunny right there. It's a good booth. It's a big booth. They got all their flavors lined up. I really like this little, these little stands for their juice. Let me show you. They all have the, uh, the lights going on. That, that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of, of lights and, and flashy things, so it's nice. I like that a lot. And oh, of course. <laughs> Do you guys want some free stuff? All right, make some noise for Polka and Eju. So just explain to me what a nick shot is, because we don't have those in the States. Okay, so a nick shot is um, basically a PG-VG mixture um, with nicotine in there. Normally a high strength, 18 milligram, and then you add it to your big bottles of e-liquid, um, because we can only have 10 mil bottles of e-liquid here, so, uh, you know, so basically, get around the TPD with that. Right, so basically you can have a 60 mil yep. if it's zero. Yep. And all you have to do is add the nick shot. Add the nicotine, so I've got 80 milligrams. Um, I've got roughly about 40 mil left, 35 mil, and you just add it in there. And, and you could just eyeball it? Eyeball it, half, half the bottle. You can use um, calculators, but we're going roughly here. I'm gonna use half the bottle there. 
So that's just PG and nicotine? Um, I believe so. No um, flavoring, nothing else? No, it's just, just plain. Yeah. Uh, 18 milligram. Here we go, 70, 30, PG, PG. Now, my whole thing is, don't you think that's almost more dangerous? Like, yeah, it's getting around yep. the regulations, but selling pure nicotine is more dangerous than having more, like, bigger bottles, yeah. bigger volumes. The way I see it is an 18 milligram flavorless e-liquid that you're adding to a flavored zero nicotine e-liquid. Right. So it's still within the regulations over here because you can only have up to 20 milligram nicotine. Um, okay, yeah, I get it. So it is basically a flavorless e-liquid that you can add to your flavored e-liquid to uh, So that's it, you it just boop, put yep, the top back in, on. Put the top on and give it a shake for a while. Yeah. Um, just to make sure it's all mixed in there. The only problem that I can see with a Nick shot is that some flavorings react with nicotine, with nicotine yeah. when they steep. So if you're doing, gonna do a Nick shot, You'd have to do a shot and then you know shake it and let it steep for like. Let a it week. steep for a while, yeah. yeah. So I've got um, just a king mango there, which is like a high, highly mentholized mango flavor. Um, I don't think the nicotine's going to affect it much. No, I don't think nicotine no. really reacts violently. Like I, I no. use the word violently. Strawberry flavors tend to have the biggest reaction with mm. nicotine, so I feel like mango. You should be all set. Yeah, hopefully it should be good. Um, We'll give it a quick test. <laughs> You'd really have to shake that too, because you really don't want that like hot hit. You yeah, know? you just You'd get like it. a pure nicotine. Yeah. In. Where this is a, a higher BG uh, concentrate than this one, you'll hopefully thicken it up a bit. Right. Which is good, because this was 60-40, uh, and gotcha. it's a bit watery for my liking. Better for tanks. Yeah. So, how do you? Uh, what do you think of the show? It's good. Um, it's blooming good. Yesterday was a bit more chill. Quiet. It was chilled. It was more intimate. You know, you got to walk around and speak to the vendors and whatnot without any problems. You know, yeah. um, it was nice walking around, talking to the vendors, getting to know their products a bit more, trying all their juices. You know, it's nice to just get a bit more interaction. One on one time. Yeah, one yeah. on one. Rather than fighting through the crowds. Until um, the late afternoon, and then it was like yeah. DJ battle. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's late, late music got louder. It was noisy, yeah. <laughs> but today, that was uh, a lot of work judging all that e-liquid. Yeah, we spent around about two, three hours, wasn't it? Was it about uh, three hours? Or was it three more? and a half. Three and a half hours. Yeah. Three and a half hours judging over 200, 200 flavors. 200 e yeah. Uh, ranging from desserts, Fruits, fruits, menthols, tobaccos, custards, custards miscellaneous, sweets. like there was like seven different categories. Best of show, yeah. yeah. And, and the fruits, we had 72 flavors, wouldn't it? Yeah. 72 flavors, which is a hell of a lot to go through. But we had a system that really worked. Yeah, yeah. We really nailed it. I think we did a really good job in evaluating e-liquid fairly. Yeah. Because I mean, we're all reviewers, so I feel like we're all competent enough to Take a section, take a few bottles each, pick our favorites from that, yep. and then pass them around to everybody. Pass them around so. and get an overall review on them, yeah. yeah. Um, it's obviously not the most detailed review kind right, of thing, right, but it's right. quickly going off first opinion. It's like what you do going around trying juice. You go to a vendor, drip a bit on, their, on your wicks, or try one of their tanks, right. and see what your first opinions are on that, rather than, you know, vaping it for a long time. But we got a, a good mixture of reviews in them, maybe. And I, I tried some flavors that I didn't think I would like. Yeah. Like, I'm not a big, I'm a fruit flavor guy, so I'm not big on custards or desserts, but there was some amazing, amazing yeah. flavors. There was that tiramisu one, obviously yeah. we don't know what they are. Right, um, but we all gave our guess yeah. <laughs> and had our little input. Yeah, but it was nice getting that e-liquid that made everyone think. Yeah. You know, um, oh, I get a little bit of this or yeah. a little bit of that. And then you like try it again and you're like, yeah, I taste that. You know, you, you find like the hidden flavors within the juice. Yeah. Yep. Um, Someone mentioned something and then we all agree. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, some of them, you know, could have been better. Yeah. The menthols was a pretty rough category. I, I enjoyed the menthols. So, um, <laughs> there was a nice mixture of menthols. I'm a menthol lover, hence why I've got that. I do like menthol, but. Dripping it on my like daily like cloud rig sort of thing is uh, a bit aggressive. I like yeah. a, a, a subtle menthol with like 
a mouth to lung yeah or you know something a little bit less powerful maybe mm. but yeah that was a, an adventure for sure yeah. i love my menthols they hit hard and this when you flip from the inhale to the exhale you just get that punch in the back of the throat and it's it's nice and cooling it's nice to be like reassured that there's a menthol in there and it's not just a watered down colada kind of thing and menthol is so good at conventions yeah. because Men it kind of refreshes yeah. you it cleanses your palate and it just keeps you on your toes <laughs> that nice refreshing yeah. cool hit yeah so a lot of times you get stuffed up you get like just nicked out and just kind of over overburdened yeah. with so yeah, many yeah. different flavors and everyone's vaping something different yeah. It's like going into a candle shop and like smelling, smelling all one. the candles. Yeah, and then they all start tasting the same. And it also helps with vapor's tongue, doesn't it? Right, right. We, well, we must have tr tried nearly 200 odd flavors. And we uh, each had like <laughs> our, our palate cleanser. We had like yeah. coffee and lemon water well, and yeah, stuff like that. Water. Yeah, that was good. That was a good choice. But the coffee was great. Yeah. <laughs> how many times did we re-wick? Blimey. It we was, went through like five packages yeah, of got a hell of a lot of wick. We went through <laughs> two packs of Texas Tough. You went through God knows how many of uh, native wicks. Probably three native wicks, yeah. We could have done with a few coil builds in there as well to just freshen my coils, things up. My coils are shot. I'm about yeah. to go over to the flat wire booth and uh, mm. get some builds done. Yeah, get some uh, nice builds on there. I went through a set of batteries. I think everyone went through a set of batteries. Yeah. <laughs> this has held up quite well. Two thirds left. I'll well, show it vape. off. What do you got there? This is the Geek Vape Aegis. It's waterproof, shockproof. Sure. Yeah, you can run over it, throw it out of buildings. Um, check the reviews online. Uh, Did so you far. review it yet? I haven't reviewed it yet. No. Ah, I'm, sneak peek. I'm currently going through um, just normal testing at the moment, and then we'll do a stress test after I've recorded, like unboxing, etc. Um, you don't really want to unbox the Smash Mod because that's oh, not how course. people are going to get it. Of course. But yeah, people have run it over. They've shot it with like um, airsoft. BB guns, airsoft yeah. guns, thrown it out of buildings. Um, it's, it's been absolutely crazy what people have been doing to it. And I think Geek Vape have been proud of people doing that. You know, oh, I'm sure they love just it. Just to show how durable it is. Um, you've got like a Gorilla Glass screen that doesn't even scratch. See, that's something that I like because it's like... It's a cheaper mod, right? How much did that cost? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm they not sent sure. it to you? Okay. Uh, but pro probably the usual kind of geek vape value kind of prices, so... I'd probably say that's around about... Definitely under 60, 100. Well, I'd say around about 70 quid. Possibly. So it's a little bit on the little bit on the pricier yeah. side, but not bad. No. For what you get, for the durability factor... And it comes with the 26650 as well. There you go. So you got battery life. Yeah. Um, but you also get an adapter so you can put 8650s in there, like a little rubber yeah, ring. Yeah. So that's quite good if you're used to 8650s. Um, but yeah, the 26650 they provide is more than ample, you know, to last you a good few hours vacant. Right. So yeah, plans tonight. Plans tonight. We've, we've got, got something going on. The award ceremony. The award ceremony. Uh, which is held just down the road. Not sure where it is, but um, yeah, where we've been it's judging. It's like right next door. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought it was down the road. I think he said it because we were at um, the bar yesterday. Oh, yeah. He said it was right there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's right next Fair door. Play. And I guess uh, there will be dinner and drinks. Dinner and drinks. Hopefully a nice dinner. We'll more get drinks. Suited and booted <laughs> and more drinks. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've never been to a vaping award ceremony. Um, it's for like the vendors and um, us reviewers and whatnot to right. go to. And, yeah. I feel special. You know, we have the whole crew of reviewers here. Yeah. We have Dean the Devil Vapor, obviously. We yep. have Spitting Your Dripper. We have Vinny uh, Sir Vaping a lot. We have Live Vape and Chill. Vaping um, Pagonophile. Yep, vaping uh, Poggy. I got Poggy, that. yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, Chris from Empire Vape Co. Yep, yep. So we have an excellent crew yeah. of people here. Nice really, I've crew. made so many amazing friends. Mm. Ah, and we still have another day to go. Yeah, got another day to go. Um, God knows what it's going to be like tomorrow. <laughs> well, hopefully we can have a little bit more free time because we're we were on the job for three and a half hours today. So tomorrow, yeah. it's all about like talking to people picking up new products for our videos. Yeah, going to all the vendors tomorrow, yeah. And chilling. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be the chill day. Chill, a bit of, a bit of uh, leg work and mouth work, you know. Of course, but that's what you do. That's why we're here. 
that's why we're here and uh, see what the best products are you know and tonight at the awards ceremony we're gonna well we already know who's winning right but the general public and all the vendors are gonna find out whether they kind of made the cut kind of thing yeah it's exciting yeah all right we'll check in with you guys later Again, trying more juice because apparently, well, how many categories was it? Seven already. Seven already? This is the eighth category that we missed out on, which is the drinks category. So we had we had about 55 flavors to try out. We're still in the process. This is all going on, but uh, we've narrowed it down to the top eight, and we'll have to see who wins. So we actually won't find out what the company is or anything because the, the bottles what the bottles are completely blank except for a number except for a number and that's all we get so i like this system because it's completely anonymous you know it gives everyone a fair chance and we all have a good discussion as well you know it just wish it didn't take so long so lots of entries lots of stuff to do we're all excited because we just got food and looking forward to get onto that so We'll check in with you guys later. All right. So, let's go. Nice. 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 I wanted to go get them. I wanted to do your favorite messages. Right. I have made in all the original Spike Valentine's with Mango Green. Thank you for that. Thank you. 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 Thank I 
Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm space. So, I'm on the white uh, on my which is arguably the lightest of the six Red shade the market, weighing up in about 65 grams. I've got the brand new Hogglers on there that I've up two days. Oil, 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 I'm waiting on some. Uh, I don't even know. In gold, cola birth, which I'm actually meant to be reviewing, but I'm saving it. Oh, we are. Smell it, smell it from here. Music is picking up straight up. Hopefully, it's here. Where's the mic? Where the mic? Bring the mic over here. So, I've got to keep the mic over here. I'm vaping on my XLV3, the recoil RDA, some coilology coils. And Blue Slushy, here we go. Blue from Tony B. Uh, Sugar Lips, his new line. American juice, of course. When I come to the UK, I still make American juice. <laughs> I try a lot. I'm trying to get the American juice. It's a blue label. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to pay for that? I've got the uh, Blue Food Drag. Uh, with the Heat Bake uh, Peelers. Love that. Yeah, I feel it's a good one. Yeah, I feel it. And I'm actually vaping on uh, double drip, foil sauce, raspberry sherbet. Love it. I'm a, I'm a custom aluminium mongrel. Trusty versus 24 RBI. Love it. Big up the mongrel army. Big up the small pots. Uh, orange tank by uh, Dragon Viper. Banging juice. I'm on the. Uh, Juggernauts. by coil code. Fucking banging coils as well. 0.12. Nice. I'm on the RX23. I've got some other ones with me, but mainly I'm vaping the RX23. Which is the clear 120 with a Fanboy tank, as you can see, for extra juice, mate. I love the clear. I love the original and the white tank. They're both they're so amazing to play about the flavour. They don't last too long. They're known for that, but flavour wise, they're great. They're a great tech. And this is great because I find in free battery mode, I can relax for the day and know that I'm alright. Work for hours, work for hours. When I'm going to a wedding or stuff like that, I can go down to two battery mode and be there for sweet. So that's a good thing. I think we can all agree that the Cleto is probably one of the better oh, tanks. Big time, big time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. In all iterations. I'd say it's probably one of the best tanks. It's probably one of the best sellers. It's very close to something like an RBA. I've never tried it. I don't know what you're beeping at. What's happening, guys? I'm Bigger Cop from Swinny Drip Reviews. This is my partner in crime here, Good Cop. And today I'm on the Dot Bot 200 Watt Box with the Apocalypse and Brimstone Gold Trip Trip 2. And of course, my all day babe, the man on it one day. <laughs> Back and forward on this shit for three years. <laughs> Put it down for a little while, make the same kills, but See, go back to this all the time. You don't get the big bottles. In America, no, we, have, did, we did. We did have a tool while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, quietly, Nico sometimes brings us a secret one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, with yeah. TPD, you guys yeah. had a free market for a while. That's right. Yeah. 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 And now, then all of a sudden they just they drop this on a massive thing. Yeah. There's a lot of people over here doing obviously the, the, the Nick Free with the Nick Shots. And how long the big bottles are going to last, no one knows, but with the Nick Shot Club. they got about, what is it, 12 to 18 months, something like that, isn't it? Yeah. But we're about to eat only good, I don't know if I'm really here, they might die. I've heard, I've heard that. Yeah, it's like really going to piss off the companies that's been a thousand on BMT, BD, goodbye. So, that's going to consume, huh? Great. Right. 10 mil bottles,
some previews anyway. You want some previews? The minion, correct. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. Is it, is it a race or? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking my time. He wants so, it nice and slow so he so can do you know, it. Nowadays, right, you know what the concept is nowadays, yeah? It's just a full toy. But back in the day when I was a kid, it was all little bits of toys that you had to make. Yeah, what? Yeah. I remember the little cars. Multiple, yep. Yeah, multiple pieces cars in the one points. thing. Oh, the little, yeah, yeah. The little cars with the motors. Yeah. You pull, pull back and shut back. Yeah. And yeah. some were faster than others. <laughs> so, we're here. <laughs> we're ready to go. I got these this morning. Kinder eggs. I've never had one. They're not allowed in the U.S. You've looked the show at live. So I had to. This is one thing I wanted so bad. And of course, Hoggy is he's excited right now. He's getting oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't had one of these for ages. <laughs> so we're going to just uh, take a look at what we got. So let's do it. Go for it. You should go first. All right, yeah. Well, I'm, there I'm isn't a little uh, a, 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 a To be honest, I'm struggling. To open it. All right. You, right, oh, no, you yeah. open the thing, but then you've got to try and open the uh, two halves of the egg without breaking it so they're perfect. I've, well, I've already broken mine because oh, it's been warm in my hands. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the best yeah. unboxing video ever. <laughs> Oh, are we doing it at the same time? Oh! Oh, oh we tried uh, it! So you squeeze? Oh! Oh, look at that! You've done it! Oh, nearly! Look at that! Yeah, that's good enough! Hey! Oh. Let's see the toy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Let's see the toy! Screw the chocolate, <laughs> let me see the toy! Am I allowed the chocolate? Yeah! Oh, I got a girly one! <laughs> you got the bitch! <laughs> oh, yeah! Who is this? I forget which character. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> minions. That's a lot of shit. Oh, you got a minion? Message can't no. have minions. There you go, there you go. Oh, she twirls. That, these toys are pretty cool for a little thing. You know, this is definitely better than we have. <laughs> you can, oh, she, you move her along. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Angelina Ballerina. <laughs> 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 banana, banana, banana. So how's the chocolate? Try that shit, man. It's good chocolate. Yeah, it's milk chocolate. Well, nope. it's good chocolate. <laughs> it is good you chocolate. You gotta give a real review on that chocolate right here. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get flavors in there. There are people out there. From what I've heard, it. from what, what I've heard, America doesn't have good chocolate. No. Oh. I've heard that too. You know what Hershey's is? Mm -hmm. Hershey's, yeah. So, I've been to Hershey, Pennsylvania, to the factory where they make it. And I got so sick to my stomach, I had so so much chocolate. Because it just bowls in it everywhere. But yeah, uh, this chocolate. To be quite fair, Hershey's mm -hmm. in the UK is expensive, but it's got to be important. Yep. Yeah. I like the Hershey's cookie crumble. I love it. Cadbury's. Tell you what, these have come a long way. Oh, yeah. the one. Right. Look at them, elaborate. Yeah. Whoop. Bendy bit, man. I watch um, Before Ashen's. Before they used to just pop off the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You ever watch Ashen's <laughs> channel on YouTube? No, who's? Uh, Ashen's. No, maybe. He's my a YouTuber. Might. He's a reviewer that just reviews tap. Yeah, my son might. Go, he goes to it's Poundland. It's good noise. It's good noise. It's good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh. But he goes to, to Poundland and he buys tap. And reviews it, but it's, it's awesome. He does Kinder eggs. He does uh, blind bags, all that. The oh, blind oh, bags. Oh. Whoever invented blind bags, I'm sorry to say, you need your shooting. Oh, no, you does, so much crap. No, I just realized. My son opens something. a blind bag and it's not what he wants. He cries the place uh -huh. down. <laughs> oh, look, he rocks out with a guitar. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I feel sorry for this guy. He's got his dick on the outside, uh, <laughs> coming out of his bum. <laughs> Chocolate? Yeah, man. Why oh, not? I didn't share Cheers. at all. I'm really bad. Like I didn't get like this from uh, sharing. Right, right. It's good chocolate, though. I know. You've got white chocolate like on the inside, and 
and dark on the outside. Not dark, but milk. Milk. Yeah, yeah. It's smooth. Yeah. Silky. Yeah. Creamy. It's lovely. <laughs> I love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. This was awesome. Yeah, man. You'll have to go in the country I'm, world at some point. Yeah. Mate, I'm going to yeah. have to come back just for yeah. these. More. Just don't mind. Uh, right. This country Nick. world is just... Nice one, dude. Nice to have met you. Yeah, yeah. pleasure. Huggy. Good to meet you. That's it. Look. Cut. So, we're here at Tom's Hotel. It's after hours, late night. It's about, what, 1.30? Almost. I lost track, uh, yeah. but I, I mean, last I checked, I think it was one something. So. Yeah. So it's getting late. I just really wanted your thoughts, you know, the wrap up thoughts, what you thought of the show. The wrap up thoughts of the show. Well, it's my show. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if I'm going to do it all positives or <laughs> whatever. Well, you know, it was amazing. Yeah. It was so dope. You have to come next year if you didn't come this year. No, honestly. Guys, it's been a long slog to get this organised and get this sorted, and it was something that I was really nervous about getting organised and, and really thought, are we going to be able to do this? But I have had like such overwhelming, great feedback from uh, the visitors uh, of the show. Um, I've had just people saying, you know, it's my first show, or I've been to other shows, but I've been like, <laughs> yeah. it's this time. It's like, we tried to do a little bit of a different feel to it, and when, um, and that, I think we pulled that off a little bit. It wasn't loud music all the time, it was, you know, the B2B people had time to do their business. Right. When the visitors came in, they had time to sit and get their questions asked by the exhibitors because they didn't feel like they needed to be moved on like within a moment and how many, how many smokers did we have? I have a whole box, um, a whole box. Uh, I've given out, um, this was sponsored by Vape Mob, they, they came and gave us an Aspire Pocket, which is a pretty sick starter kit, if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, and some free juice, like, to get people started on the smoking. I was grabbing the cigarettes out of these people's hands, crunching them, chucking them in the box. I gave out about 170 starter kits over the three days. Um, these were people that had been bought there by their friends and just said, you know, look, I want to quit. Some people that just rocked up on their own and said, look, I heard I can, you know, want to try this vape thing. I'm saying I didn't even warn it. So. I just said like, oh right, okay. So yeah, so like, so do you have your cigarettes here? Can I see them? What brand? And they'd hand them to me, and I'd be like, oh right, <laughs> crunched the box, chucked it in the box, and then just said, why don't you do me a favor here? I'm gonna give you a bit of kit to let you. Vape inside today, go around, try some juice, and it was really positive. And the Olympia is a no smoking or vaping venue, mm -hmm. and I, I can't believe we can have a vape show there. We, it's pretty cool that you worked it out. We got it done. Um, I mean, I heard a couple of rumors saying that we were going to have it in the hall next to us, which is where the first vape jam initially was, with really low ceilings and they had problems with the ventilation. Um, but I think that was just some it was a spreading or whatever. But it was, it looked, I was, look, I've stood in that venue about eight, eight months ago. Um, I looked at it when I was empty and I went, you pictured it, you went like that. I, I, I tried to picture it, but I really couldn't. I was just like, are we going to do this? Right. And, you know, it's not as big as like some of the other um, uh, venues here, but it, it, when it was done, and on Saturday, when I actually looked at the end of the day on Saturday, I knew the big day was the next day. I was like, I'm happy with this. <laughs> this is one of the best feelings. Yeah. 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 Almost as good as the feeling at the end of the show. <laughs> about about 40 minutes afterwards, right. during breakdown, where I actually went, oh my God, I don't have to organize the show tomorrow. You're just a sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was literally right after I was talking to Ashley from Strawberry Queen, who did an amazing job, by the way. Amazing job as our host. Yeah. Couldn't have asked for a better host. She's brilliant. 
Um, but right after that, I just sort of walked away and I got caught in the hallway and went, it's all done. I don't have to worry about anything. We did it. Until next time. <laughs> That's the thing. I had people go in, let me know. Like, I had exhibitors, visitors, let me know when I'm going to be here next year. Just tell me all the time. Same time? Yeah, <laughs> same time. Same, same bad place, channel. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, I'm excited for the next one already, too. Um, I'm definitely going to have to fly you out. Hell yeah. Just so you guys know, <laughs> so you guys know, I had to get Nick here. There was pro there was passport problems. And stuff. I had no we idea. Just barely made it. We literally like what we talking like eight nine days before the show. We like got the yeah, uh, got, got the, the tickets and we got the hotel. And everything was like just just barely set in before I, I flew out. Basically, it was it was yeah. Like, I didn't know that Nick had never been out of the country in the US, and I was like, didn't have a passport. How has this, how has this happened? You know, because um, I know he does a lot of traveling to trade shows, but I, when I, like, I, I don't know, I, I deal with lots of reviewers, and you know, obviously, there's you know, the reviewers in the UK are different, a huge different styles of different the American ones, or um, you know, I talked to a few of them, I've dealt with them in the past, but you have always been like one of my dudes. I've, I've loved, I, as I said, I think I, I Instagrammed yeah, a picture of you, a uh, picture of me. I, I did my cooking sometimes. I cooked when I'm, it's therapeutic for me. And I sit there and I just sit up and I'm like, oh, it's Friday. And I just sit there and, and just watch a fresh build Friday while I'm just like, you know, slicing my peppers and shit. You know? So I had to have him here. I had to have him. I appreciate that. And it's only going to get better from here because we've been talking this whole weekend. We've been like kind of strategizing how we. We can help you out more. So you're gonna see more, you know, tight knit relationships between the reviewers that are on Big Finder. And that's gonna be really cool in the future. I know. Looking forward to that. Doing collabs, you know, coming together, doing, you know, bouncing ideas. In a roundabout off each other <laughs> but it's going to be awesome and uh, I'm really looking forward to the next show already because you enjoyed it yeah I've been interviewing yeah, Nick yeah, yeah. Like, no no I have a great time Google, so you don't incorporate Google Nick worked his ass off by the way well, I want we to all say did. we all did Vinny and, and Dean and, and uh, the guys from Spit My Dripper uh, and and YouTube, and chill, they put on a the file, yeah, Chris from Empire Vapor Code. Okay. Um, look, I just wanted to say a big shout out to all the reviewers over there. This literally, they, they turn up, you must have turned up and thought this is going to be a trade show where like, we were here at 9am every day too. Yeah, Nick was there waiting for me, but I was actually almost late today, <laughs> like, you know, after the after party, but um, they were here, sat on the couches, just at 9 o'clock in the morning, ready for B2B, which they didn't necessarily have to be there for all, on all three days, they could have just had an hour extra kipping, but you know, him, did, did we even say Dean? Yeah, I said Dean. Oh, did you? I said Dean. Oh, okay. I didn't Dean. Dean. <laughs> Dean. <laughs> Dean and Nick were just sat on the couch at the booth and I was like, oh my god, you're here before me. We, we all met up at, at Sainsbury's at 8.30. Oh my god. We got our, our water and our juice. And but these guys just did such a fantastic job um, of just being there to support. Like, and I wanted to invite these guys down um, because I wanted to make sure that the, um, the new people, the new the vapors that were coming here, that I was getting set up on the start of kids. I didn't want to just leave it at that and have it be another thing where they're like, here's your kit, blah, 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 we've done our promotional thing, great, good luck with that. And then the coil goes for the first time and they go, this is shit. Yeah. Been in, yeah. Yeah. And or they don't know that they have to change the coil. No, yeah, 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 exactly. So I literally had, and these guys were, were just like all like doing this constant all day. And I'm bringing a person over from the stand and saying, I've got another new vape book. Has anyone got time to set them up? They all took it in turns. They all just like, there was one shot. I think we got the shot, the uh, yeah, video yeah, shot, where literally we had these four lads that were all pissed up from the <laughs> great British beer festival next door. Which we love, by the way. Yes. Don't know if you check the live stream. <laughs> These four pissed up old geezers that just come in here like, oh, if someone's told me off, oh, I'm quit smoking. What's going on? And we had them all over there, and I said, guys, I know it's the end of the day. Can we all just sit and do it? And all the reviewers pulled a chair up, 
I literally took one guy each and just boom, crack and started here. Yeah. And that's 20 minutes of their life that they're never going to get no, back. But the, and, no, what, but how we see it is we help four people quit smoking. Mm-hmm. That's how we see it. And that makes it all worth it at the end of the day. Genuinely, like these guys were really hard. They did everything with uh, with the awards. We tried to make sure the awards were like as fair as possible. We went to great lengths to make sure it wasn't. I will say the fairest award, you know, presentation of any show I've been to. I mean, well, I get. I've been to lots of trade shows, and when, when, when we did this one, like, we had a panel of twelve people reviewing the juice. Twelve so reviewers. 12 so I wanted people that had actual like working taste buds to decide on the juice. Um, we went to great lengths. We took hours of bottling it all up, putting a number on it, writing it down. The reviewers have no idea. They have no idea. No, 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 no. We took them over, no, 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 no. they went through the numbers, we, we finalised it, we got it down. Between the 12 of them, they got the winners done. I've still got live baby and chill. Two lads are live baby and chill there. They're going, they've gone home today and said, oh, by the way, oh, I've got number 185. I love it. I have no idea what it is, but fantastic. And then, and then, oh, yeah. She's raping my winner. I've got one for Oh, really? Yeah, the uh, melanin. Oh, that was my pick. The thing is, the only ones that the reviewers found out were the ones that were okay. yeah. All the other numbers, they still have no idea. So Jay, Jay and them, they don't even know what they're vaping. No, no idea. I, I kind of don't. But yeah, some some of them like we actually kept like if it didn't win the overall pick we just went oh, all right like this oh, yeah, no, so we left the hotel me and nick from daily Bates tv and he's never had a full english breakfast and that's one thing that he's been to do since he's got here so <laughs> i took him to a uh place and we've got a very nice looking English breakfast. Looks good. Change the, the black top grilled sausage, um, mushroom for black pudding because he's never had that either. I can't wait. I am, I am very excited. <laughs> Brown sauce as well. No, we've got to try some of that. He's got to try some of that. I don't know what it tastes like. Let's do it. Two cameras. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. The show is over. We are on our way. The train station is right over there. We got. Vinny here, we just had a full English breakfast. We did, yeah, um, one stuff. thing he wanted to do, one thing Nick wanted to do, so I had to make sure we got him a full English, full English breakfast. <laughs> and I did it, yay! I got more Kinder Eggs too to bring home. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't get stopped at customs, dude. If you don't message me back in the next 24 hours, I know you've been arrested. <laughs> Product. I'm still <laughs> waiting for my full cavity search. But. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, got a flight to catch. We're out. See you guys next time. London, Jeez. can't wait for the next Vape Finder, London Vape Show. Great time. I'm tired. We're out. <laughs>